it is a review for the third exam. Number one, mark each statement true or false and justify your answer. Part A, a number lambda is an eigenvalue of A, a square metric, if and only if the equation has a solution. Is it true? But this equation has always at least one solution. If x is 0, then it is a solution. But by definition, eigenvector must be non-zero. So if this equation has a non-trivial solution, then this statement is true. So the given a statement is false. Okay. Let a square metric u satisfy u squared equals identity, then each eigenvalue u has length 1. To solve uh, such problem, you have to start with the definition. Mathematics always start with uh, definition. Here, for an eigenvalue of u, we may use a notation lambda, which means that here u uh, x equal lambda x for some non-zero vector. Right? Now we have to use this uh, information. We need u squared. So we multiply the u both sides. Then that is u squared x equal u lambda x. Now lambda will go out and u x is the same as lambda x. So the lambda, lambda x, which is same as lambda squared x. But this one, u squared is identity, so that it is the same as x. So we can get here, x is now lambda squared x. We know x is non-zero. That implies lambda squared must be 1. And then we can conclude the absolute value of lambda equals 1. So that is true. T, a square metric, is a symmetric stochastic metric. Then the all ones vector is an eigenvector of T. What is the stochastic metric? Once T is given, then the entries must be non-negative and each column has some one. That is uh, a stochastic metric. Now symmetric means that each column will appear as a row. That means the because the each column has a sum one. Now each row has sum one. Now if you multiply here. Uh, all ones vector, every is one, then this row and this column dot product will make one because uh, the summation of each row is one, so that every uh, one, like that, uh, it means that all ones vector is an eigenvector of the matrix. So that is again true. Okay, this is true. And now this one is also true. For an m by m metric A, vectors in a row space of A are orthogonal to vectors in the null space of A. You may think this problem 
sum out uh, geometrically. Okay, now metric A, that is A. Now row space, the entries in uh, row space is uh, generated from rules of A. So when you check the orthogonality, you may consider only rules of A, then uh, that's enough. Now, what is entry from null space? Null space, uh, the each entry is here, once A is applied, then that is the zero. That is from null space, null space of A. And now already here row and this column product must be zero and two for this vector to be in the null space uh, so that uh, eventually the row, each row, row and this vector from null space, the dot product is zero. That means that here rules are orthogonal to uh, vectors in the null space. So that is true. Okay. That's true. Diagonalize the following metric if possible. For uh, this problem, you have to find P and D such that A can be expressed as P, D, P inverse. And P is collection of eigenvectors, and D is diagonal metric of the eigenvalues. And when A has three, this is a 30 by 30 metric, so three linear independent eigenvectors, then it is diagonalizable. Okay? So we have to uh, try to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors. A minus lambda i, that is now 3 minus lambda, 0, 0, and 0, 2 minus lambda, 0, 1, 0, 2 minus lambda. If we take the determinant, then we can expand and along with this first row, then this quantity, 3 minus lambda, okay, that is here, times determinant of this sub matrix. Okay. So that is the same as now 2 minus lambda squared. That's it, because these two are zeros. So that is the characteristic polynomial, and we have to solve this one. That means uh, lambda is now 3 and 2 and 2. Okay. Now, when lambda is 3, then a minus lambda i, we subtract 3 along the diagonal, then there is 0, 0, 0, that is now 0, minus 1, 0, and 0, no, is 1, 1, 0, minus 1. Okay, we have to find um, a vector x such that the product is 0, right? Now, we have to solve the problem by using elementary row operations okay, from this one rather than augmented one because in augmented metric just zero column is added so we ignore that from this one here along with the row change interchange one zero minus one and scale and zero, zero, zero. Okay. Now this is the reduced echelon form. Uh, that means here 
x1, x2 are basic variables and x3 is a free variable. This means x3 is, uh, x1 is x3, x2 is 0. So we have here x1 is x3 and x2 equals 0, x3 is um, a free variable, so we say x3. So from here, now let's say there's a lambda 1, so we have a v1, the solution here, that is x3 times 1, 0, 1. So that is uh, an eigenvector corresponding to lambda is 3. Now, secondly, now lambda is 2, then a minus lambda i, we subtract 2 along diagonal, then it's 1, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 0, and 1, 0, 0. Okay, again, we have to find the x such that here multiplication is 0. Now again, using elementary row operations for the augmented metric, we reach it here. Just simply eliminate that portion. That's it for the reduced ratio form. So that here, that one means x1 equals 0, x2 is a free variable, and x3 is, or is also another free variable. So from here, we can get, okay, we'll write down here, x is, now, along with x2, we have x2 and uh, 0, 1, 0, and plus x, along with x3, that is 0, 0, 1. So we have two linearly independent eigenvectors for lambda is 2. So we can say uh, that one is now v2, this one is v3. So from this computation, now we can form P and D. P is collection of these eigenvectors from here. 1, 0, 1. Now we, you can put um, either one first. 0, 1, 0 and 0, 0, 1. That's a P and D is diagonal. Uh, metric with uh, the, the same order, for and 3, for second and third eigenvectors, uh, the eigen um, value is 2. Okay, so that is P and D, and with this, uh, it will be satisfied. Okay. Consider the initial value problem. Uh, here we have uh, a dynamical system. Let's try to solve the problem with this initial value. Now the system can be written in this way. That is x prime equal the 2 by 2 matrix collection of the coefficients uh, 3 minus 3 minus 4 and 2 and x. Of course here x is has two components x1 and x2. Right? Now, for the solution, uh, we have to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Here, if we say this is a, then a minus lambda i, 3 minus lambda, minus 3, minus 4, 2 minus lambda. So it's a determinant is the same as that is uh, lambda minus 3 and lambda minus 2 and here minus 12. Now that is lambda squared and minus 5 lambda plus 6 
minus 12, so that minus 6. We have to solve this question. So here we have separation 6 and 1 and minus and plus. So we have two eigenvalues, lambda equal minus, okay, not minus, that is 6 and minus 1. So we have two eigenvalues when lambda is 6, then a minus uh, lambda i, 6 must be subtracted from this metric along diagonal, then minus 3 and minus 3, and minus 4 and minus 4. We have to find the eigenvector as a solution of this metric times x equals 0. We can easily find the, the vector. So that is the vector. Let's say that is v1, lambda 1. Okay, v1 must be here 1 and minus 1. 1 and minus 1. Right? Now for lambda 2, which is minus 1, now a minus lambda i, we add 1 along the diagonal here. So that is 4. Uh, okay, that is 4. Along the diagonal, we uh, add 1, 4 and minus 3. And then this is now minus 4 and mm, 3. Again, we have to find the solution. And this metric times x equals 0. So we can easily choose uh, x. We name it v2, which is now if we choose here 3 and 4, then uh, that's it, right? So the general solution is formed in this way. x of t is c1. Now the vector, again vector, 1 and minus 1. e to the, the eigenvalue is 6, 6t plus. Now c to the eigenvector, 3 and 4. And e to the eigenvalue is minus 1, so that minus t. So that is the uh, general solution. Now we have to decide the C1 and C2 by using the initial value. Okay, here x0 equals, now that'll be 1, that'll be 1, so that that is same as now, okay, C1 1 and minus 1 and plus uh, C2, the vector is 3 and 4. That must be same as 2 and 5. To find the C1, C2, we may try to solve the uh, metrication. Okay, that is 1 and minus 1, and 3 and 4. Now, that um, unknown is C1 and C2, and then right hand side and 2 and 5. After forming the augmented metric, you can apply uh, elementary operations. But from observation, uh, here, that one, um, if you choose, uh, for example, C1 is minus 1, then and C2 is 1, minus 1 and 1, then that will make 2, that will make 5. Okay, so C1 is minus 1, C2 is 1. So that portion is minus 1, and that portion is just 1. Uh, so that's the answer for part A. Now for part B, 
we can classify the nature of the origin um, as a tractor, repeller, or saddle point. Now the eigenvalues, two eigenvalues, one is positive, one is negative. So the origin is a saddle point. Okay. T is given in this way. Now find all eigenvalues and eigenvectors of T. Find the steady state vector Q of T. And we try to get the limit here. Okay, the matrix is a stochastic matrix because the column sum is 1. Okay, let's try to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Okay, so T minus lambda i, that is uh, 0 0.8 minus lambda, and 0 0.4, and 0 0.2, and 0 0.6 minus lambda. And its determinant, okay, its determinant is now, okay, that is a lambda minus 0 0.8 times lambda minus 0 0.6 and this one is minus 0 0.08 okay from here lambda squared minus 1.4 lambda and that is plus 0 0.48 and subtract this one so that's that's it so equals 0 we have to solve this equation. Now we can separate this one, 1 and 0 0.4. And we put here minus minus so that we have two eigenvalues. Lambda is 1 and 0 0.4. When lambda is 1, a minus uh, lambda i is by subtracting 1 along the diagonal of that matrix minus 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 and that is 0 0.2 and now there's a minus 0 0.4 now we can find the corresponding eigenvector by solving this matrix times x equals 0 again we may try to form the augmented matrix and we apply elementary row operations. But from observation, we can find the one choice quite easily. For example, there's 2 and 1. So 2 and 1, then it will be 0. So the corresponding uh, eigenvector of V1 is now 2 and 1. How about for lambda is 0 0.4? Then a minus lambda i, okay, that is, okay, we can choose here uh, lambda is 0 0.4 or subtract 0 0.4 along the diagonal. Then there is 0 0.4 and 0 0.4. Uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Okay, again, uh, from observation, we can easily uh, find the, the corresponding eigenvector. That is 1n minus 1. If we put here 1n minus 1, then you can see that is a 0. Okay, so we found everything for lambda 1, we have a v1. And for lambda 2, we have a V2. Okay, we finished part A. Now, part B, find the state state vector Q of T. What is the definition of state state vector? Uh, that is a vector Q such that T Q equal Q. So that is uh, the eigenvector uh, for eigenvalue 1, but this is 
Q must be uh, a probability vector. So sum must be 1. So we may start from here. This again values 1. The corresponding I have, you know, vector is this one. So that Q must be uh, from here scaled. Q is now divided by 3. Then length must be 1. Because currently length is 3. So we divide by 3. 2 over 3. 1 over 3. So that's the state state vector. Now, part C, okay, for this one, and you may think uh, in this way, once it, it is convergent, then, okay, let's say it is converging to a vector V, then, and here, T V must be again V, uh, because it's convergent, so after one more multiplication of the metric, it is not changing. So it has this property, but that's exactly satisfying this equation. So it means that the limit must be the state state vector. So the same answer here. The answer must be Q. That's exactly this one. Prove or disprove. Let T be a stochastic metric. If P is a probability vector, then so is TP. For uh, such a problem, again, you have to use definition. T is a stochastic metric, then it is a square metric, and entries are non-negative, and column sum is 1 for every column. Now, the P is probability vector. Uh, that means each entry uh, is non-negative and sum is 1. Okay. We try to write down T expressly having V1, V2, and Vn and columns and P has components from P1 to Pn. If we multiply T and P, then it can be written in this way. Here, metric vector multiplication can be considered as a linear combination of the columns of the metric with weight from the vector. So that is P1, V1 plus P2, V2 plus, and the last term must be P, N, V, N, right? Now, this is a vector, and for the product to be a probability vector, the sum must be 1. Of course, each entry is non-negative because already every entry you know, from these two uh, the objects are already non-negative. Their linear combination must be non-negative. And what we have to show is the sum is 1. So let's try to get sum sum now t p okay then sum of this one if we sum vertically then each one v1 will make one v2 will make one again for every vector vertical summation will make one so that it becomes p1 plus p2 plus now the last one is pn but from the beginning sum is 1, so that that's 1, which means the product is a probability vector. So we finish the proof. Now for part B, A is an M by M metric and X is in null space of A. 
then x is uh, the column space of a perpendicular. That means that x is perpendicular to column space. Okay. Here, let's consider some geometric. So by using metric, we try to see geometrically. Now, A is given. Now, X is in null space of A, means that once X is multiplied to this one, then for each row, dot product, rows of A, and dot product with X must be zero. That is here, X is in null space of A. So for every row, just product is zero, then x is in null space of a now. And this means that for each column, x is uh, uh, the multiplied, then is zero. So for that means here, each column and here x dot product uh, must be zero. Once it is given, then that is now may not be true. And this one and that one is quite independent. So if you try to prove this one, then it's wrong. And so you may start with uh, uh, the answer. It must be false and you should try to disprove. In order to do that, you may uh, find a, a counterexample. Okay, so simply we start with a two by two metric. That is now A and here X. Let's choose simply one and one. And then this X will be in null space of A once we choose metric in this way, one minus one. Let's choose again 1 and minus 1. Then this product will be 0. So the x is in null space of a. However, if you try to make dot product along with columns, then it's not 0. So it's not in the orthogonal complement of column space of a. So that is on a count example so that x is in null space of a but is not in uh, the orthogonal complement of column space of a okay so it is wrong and we disprove that number six u and v are given and l is uh, span of W and W is given in this way. Now, part A, find the projection of U to L and projection of V to L. And then in part B, we have to measure the distance from L and so that we have to decide which one is farther. Okay. Now, part A, Let's try to find the projections. We'll try to use notation u hat. There it is. Now, uh, same as, okay, u, we try to project to uh, w, l, and spend by w, so that u, w, over now w dot w, n, w. Right? That is projection. Okay. So we make a, a dot product. There's A plus 12 and divide by, okay, W dot W is 10 and W. So that is 2W, which is here 2 and 6. How about V hat? which is v dot w over w dot w and w. Okay, 
v dot w, which is a minus 5, and plus 15 over, again, w dot w is 10, and w. Okay, this is 1, so it's a w, so it is a 1 and 3. Okay, we found the projections. Now, uh, for part B, we have to find the corresponding orthogonal uh, vector. So from here, we can say that here u is same as u hat plus z. And from here, we can say v is same as v hat plus z. OK, to distinguish these two, let's put subscript here. OK. Now, the distance is norm of zu and norm of zv, right? OK, so we have to get uh, zu and zv. zu is same as u minus u hat. u is 8, 4, and u hat is 2 and 6. So that, that must be 6 and minus 2. How about z sub v, which is v minus v hat from that equation. Now v is minus 5 and 5, and mm, subtract that one. Then the first component will be minus 6, and the second component will be 2. So from here, z sub u, the distance from u to the subspace L, is length of that one, the square root of 36 plus 4, that is square root of 40. Now for z sub v norm, okay, uh, that must be the same, square root of 40. So the distance are the same. Okay. Okay, that's it for a review. Thank you.